Hello, in this problem we're going to find the area of a triangle with coordinates 0, 1, 2, 0, and 1, 5. We're going to do this using a special formula. So if you have a triangle with coordinates, say, x1, y1, x2, y2, and x3, y3, the area of that triangle is given by the following, big D is equal to one-half times the determinant of, and then here we have x1, y1, x2, y2, and x3, y sub 3. So you just simply write down the points, and then in the third column you just put ones, just like that. Okay, so we just have to apply this formula to our problem. So let's go ahead and do that. So here, this is our x1, this is our y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. So let's just go ahead and fill in those numbers. So big D is equal to 1 half times the determinant of, and it's x1 is 0, and then y1 is 1, and then 1. Then it's 2, 0, 1, because x2 is 2 and y2 is 0. And then it's 1, 5, 1. So basically, you're just writing down the points 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 5, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 5. And then you put 1s in the last column. All right, let's go ahead and work this out. So I'm going to omit the 1 half for now. I'm just going to focus on this. And then at the very end, we'll just multiply our answer by one half. Also, I'm going to change up the notation. I'm going to use these lines here just to add a little bit of clarity. It just makes it look easier, easier to write without writing DET every time. So we miss to mean determinant. So you start by uh, expanding using what's called cofactor or Laplacian expansion. And you can pick any row or column. Let's expand across the first row. So we take the first number. So zero, and then it's always negative one, and it's row plus column. This is the first row, first column, first row plus first column. And then you cross out the first row and first column, and you write down the determinant of the remaining submatrix. So crossing out the first row and first column, we're left with just this piece here. So this would be zero, one, five, one. This was not necessary because all of this is obviously going to be zero but I did it just to illustrate the process. So we're expanding across the first row. So it's zero, zero. There's always a negative one here every time, and it's row plus column, first row, first column. And then you cross out the corresponding row and column, and you're left with this other matrix here, and you compute the determinant of that matrix. And then it's plus, then one, and it's negative one to the row plus column. First row, second column this time. So one plus two, it's always row plus column, row plus column. You cross out the corresponding row and column. So crossing out the first row and second column, we're left with two, one, one, one. So two, one, one, one. And then lastly, plus, and then it's one, negative one to the, and then it's row plus column. So first row, third column, one plus three. And crossing out that last row and last column, we have two, zero, one, five. Very nice. We're a little bit small there. I'll make it a little bit bigger over here. This is equal to zero times anything is just zero. One plus two is three. And negative one to an odd power, in particular to the third power, is negative. So this is minus. And then now let's evaluate this determinant. So it's two times one. So parentheses two times one minus one times one. Remember that's how you compute the determinant of a two by two. So this times this minus this times this. Over here, this is negative one to an even power because it's negative one to the fourth power. And whenever you have negative one to an even power, it's always a positive one. So this is plus one times and then this is two times five, which is 10, minus zero times one, which is zero. So this is equal to negative two minus one, so this is negative one plus 10, which is equal to nine. But that's not the answer. We have the one half on the outside. Did this pretty quickly. Hopefully it made some sense. So it's one half times nine, 
So the area of the triangle is 4.5. So basically, I kind of rushed through the determinant com computation, but all you do is apply this formula, and a good tip, I guess, is to leave the one half out until the end, and here I expand it across the first row. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck.